All right, tree planting rings. Let's talk about tree planting rings. We'll call this the grade. A tree planting ring, the theory is that if you put a plastic ring in the ground that's a containment and plant your tree in here, that the roots of this tree as they develop will grow down and out and you'll end up with a tree that doesn't buckle the sidewalk. The truth, when you put a tree in a planting ring, what really happens is the roots erupt and go over the top of the planting ring. The ones that go deeper frequently circle and girdle the tree, creating a long-term instability or a tree that cuts off its own growth by girdling the roots. So, I think this is a, process, uh, a procedure that is being sold as a solution that is not doing our trees any favors and in the long run is causing much more damage and harm than good. And I'm going to prove it. Alright, tree surrounds don't work. Here we've got this uh, platinous acerfolia, London Plain, that was planted in this surround that's about uh, Oh, presumably 24 inches around, and anyone who knows trees recognizes that this variety of tree will reach 24 inches in diameter in, oh, about uh, 15 to 18 years. So I'm guessing that this tree has been here about 10 years now, 8 to 10 years. And over on the left here you can see that the roots have completely ignored the rules that we have imposed upon this tree to keep the system of roots going down low. So in no time it's going to break this and my, uh, my thoughts are that these surrounds uh, really don't slow things down. They don't help and in many cases create a situation where, where they do um, deflect the roots. They sometimes cause root girdling and that can be uh, as much of a problem. So in my opinion, these, uh, these root surrounds are not only a waste of time and a waste of money, but uh, they don't work and sometimes they cause more harm than good. You see, the thing is that there are species of trees that are useful for planting along roadsides because it's recognized that the roots generally will grow fairly deep. But when you have an environment where the soil gets scraped or it's really bad soil or there's a, a hard pan underneath, then this very aggressive, very large growing species is not going to benefit at all from a root surround. Here's one that you can say, well, this one looks like it's working. Well, it's a fairly young tree and it's, um, it's definitely a piece of plastic around the trunk of the tree. But judging by everything else that we've looked at the back, can you say it's doing anything positive? I can't say that it is. In time, it's going to just get enveloped into the trunk and um, once again, I, I just think it's a waste of money. Yep, here's another one. It's escaping. Now here's a, a root containment that has uh, been completely ignored by this tree. Now in my opinion, a more valuable approach would be to Prepare a planting hole that is uh, conducive to deeper root development. If these trees get put in a very small shallow hole and you don't break up the soil beneath it, then the root structure really doesn't have any place to go but near the surface. But if you can prepare an area a little bit deeper and a little bit uh, more conducive for what a tree would really appreciate, then the roots are going to go down. In this case, this particular tree looks like the roots are in fact going down.